What's going on guys, BMS and Naya back with another video. So today we're gonna be reacting to a Jordan Peterson clip. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Make sure you guys don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So here we go. People having to stay married if they have children. I mean, we are yes, two it's divorced better if men they here. Do. Hmm? It's better if they do. It's, uh, it, it's I better think, for the I children. I think most people would, would agree that that's the, the best. But as far as I understand, do you think that the laws should say that we have to stay together? Well, it isn't obvious to me that the liberalization of the divorce laws in the 60s was for everyone's best interest. Now, exactly what that means, I'm not sure. But we do know that stable, intact, two-parent families are better for children. So, you know, it depends on who you put first is there any point in time or any scenario where a man uh, would ultimately want to walk away or should walk away from a marriage uh, despite having children honestly the, the big one that comes to mind is infidelity right like so obviously if that's a huge that's just extreme disrespect right so if this per and especially for women right like they're for them to get to the point of cheating they're already out but isn't that an individual choice and not something the law should decide well it depends to some degree on whether the law should advocate for children i mean children really can't speak for themselves can they they need some authority to speak for them and so we do know like data for example on child welfare indicates crystal clear that children from intact two-parent families do better on virtually every measure that you can possibly imagine. So, but I'm not advocating draconian measures to keep people together who don't want to be together. All right, guys. So that's the end of the clip, a uh, short little clip, but uh, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, children ultimately aren't able to speak for themselves. Mm -hmm. So they're relying on the parents uh, to be responsible to ultimately, you know, have two people uh, that kind of have the same mindset to come together and ultimately, you know, produce a child, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, in that situation, a child is relying heavily on the parents yeah. to make the right decision, right? And we see these examples where uh, single women will have children just because, you know, they want a child and, <laughs> you know what I mean? They kind of yeah. put the child in a uh, predicament long term for their selfish uh, short-term gratification. Yeah. But what are your thoughts on that? No, I have opinions about the like single motherhood by choice. I know there are women who are considering it being like, oh, I did all the research and I'm fully prepared to take on the responsibility financially. I'm good. Mm -hmm. I've done all the research. Da, da, da. If you really did all the research and you saw and you crunched the numbers and said, you know what? Okay, I might be financially an okay position and I have people around me to support me to take care of the child. But is this the best thing for the child, for me to raise him, raise my, ch my child without a father? Right. Like, is that never going to be something <laughs> like you have to mm. consider that of like what the child is going to be missing out on in life? Yeah. OK, you could be an amazing person, an amazing mother and be able to give your child the financial aspect of life. But like it just riles <laughs> my gears when they I can't imagine not having my life without my dad, you know, yeah, and if my mom tough. made the choice to be like, oh, like, I'm just I'm cool. I wouldn't have known any different, I guess. But at the same time, it's like now that I obviously have my experience with my dad, I could never imagine him not in my life. Right. So, yeah, yeah it's tough because for me, you know, I grew up in a single mother household. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I was seven, eight, nine, I was convinced that I was going to be a hockey player. Right. I wanted to be a hockey player. And my mom simply didn't have the uh, resources to um, fulfill that request for me, right? So as a child, you do miss out a lot on a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. that um, you could have had if you had two parents in the household, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, in my opinion, it is a bit selfish for a woman uh, to put herself in that situation and furthermore, put her child in that situation because that child will suffer uh, long term. And to say that you have the money and resources to put a roof over, you know, the child's head and food in the mouth and things of that nature. I mean, those are the basic essentials. Right. But there's more to raising a child than the basics. Right. Mm -hmm. The child needs love. It needs attention. Right. It needs to flourish in life, I not just the discipline of my dad. I need the discipline of your father. <laughs> right. To um, to kind of have the balance in the household. So there's so much. Uh, things that the child is going to miss out on just due to that uh, limited situation. Mm -hmm. And I understand like in his, what Jordan was saying with um, in regards to the law, I guess requiring people to stay together, even though sure, like it's the best outcome for the children, for the two people to stay, to get, stay together, even though they don't want to be together. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't know my opinion in regards to having that by law. I don't know if that should be 
I don't know if that should be a law to say you guys have to stay together if you were married and you have children. Too bad, so sad. Like, you have to stay because you have to raise your children now until yeah. they're grown to 18, and then you can decide what you want to do. But, so, the, I mean, there would be less divorces for sure, right? Yeah, and then once that 18-year, like, everyone's going to get divor- divorced, I guess. Uh, but, but by then, it's kind of like, let's say you were stuck with that person for 18 years, and then let's say, you know, both of you are, like, 60 years old. You know what I mean? Mm. Like the chances of you divorcing somebody at 60, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you probably just thug it out, right? Yeah. I wonder if that was, okay, so let's, let's play this game then. So let's say this actually was a law. So before, like once you are married in the law, it states that you must be married to this person. If you have children, you must be married to them till the child turns 18. Mm-hmm. Like it's a requirement. You cannot have a divorce if that was the case. Do you think a lot of people would reconsider marriage and think more wisely before jumping into marriage? Yeah, I think people like, would make um, better uh, decisions, right? They wouldn't yeah. make decisions based on based on vanity, right? They would make decisions based on uh, practicality and more uh, logical thinking, right? Mm-hmm. Versus, is this guy six feet tall? Because a guy being <laughs> oh six God. feet tall doesn't make him a good father right so yeah i i completely agree yeah i think it would just make a lot of people just be like okay maybe i should reconsider some things before just jumping into it um but i'm trying to think also for the people who have children out of wedlock like what laws i'm trying to think of for the children who are you know it's already it is what it is the parents that were never married um and they're not together so what to do from there i guess it would be the question but well i mean women control the access to sex right so just keep your legs closed. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, that's like the easiest <laughs> way to go about it. Yeah. But I mean, that's how children are produced, right? Yeah. I mean, like yeah, y- yeah. y'all know how it works, yeah, right? Yeah. So I mean, just don't have sex with Ray Rays and Pookies, right? I mean, it's as simple as that. Yeah, but like I'm just trying to think for so if that law was put into place for married couples to say you must stay together for 18 years, uh, so the child is full like is at a, uh, at an advantage so what could you tell women who are having children out of wedlock since they're the ones in the responsibility you know side mm-hmm. so what what law could be put into place for women to say listen you cannot like i don't understand like i'm trying to think see, of a law to help see when you're putting this, when you but. when you're putting laws and sanctions and uh responsibility and accountability on the women we know what's going to happen Right. It's They're going to riot, protest, <sighs> goes against my human rights. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Regardless of it being better for society and the children. Right. So that would never happen. That but, would never happen. Okay. But then so changes would need to happen to the welfare system then. Correct. So yeah, like, if they, that would be the area. Yeah. If they, if they said, for example, you can only be on welfare for X amount of years mm-hmm. or X amount of months mm-hmm. until you get steady employment. Mm-hmm. Right. That would incentivize women to find a mate. Mm. Right. Because with the welfare system, if you have a man in the household, you might lose your welfare check. Mm. Right. Because now you have two incomes. So um, there's states kind of incentivizing women to be single so that they can get this check. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, having a limitation on that welfare system would uh, definitely put people in a situation to find a man and ultimately be in a dual family household. Yeah. And on like, cause obviously the mar- like the divorce rates are um, more leaning on towards women, right? Like they're the ones who are finally d- filing for divorce. For the 70%. Most part, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So if 70% of women were, I, I think it just, it all comes down to making a better decision for yourself, honestly, mm-hmm. and making a wise decision. Don't just be jumping into bed with people that you're not like you're not sure about and you Mm -hmm. know this also comes into play of like this whole like free type of society that we're living in um where women are just free to kind of sleep with whoever and whatnot that is not the best like route to take your life because that will lead that can cause a lot more um, trouble for you down the line. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and end this video. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And until next time. Bye, guys.